Hello everybody, Eads right here, and today I am going to be doing a new album review. This time, I am going to be reviewing the new NLA Chapa album. Debut album. Top. Shata. NLE Chapa is a young 17-year-old rapper, and this is his debut full-length project, and it definitely is full-length. Over an hour in length, 20 songs. That does hurt the album a little bit in some spots. I will get to that later. But, what does he have to offer here that makes him stand out against his contemporaries? Or what does he not offer here? Um, first thing that stuck out to me, and I think this is the first thing that should stick out to people because, I mean, it's important. He is a very talented young man. He has great rapping abilities. Some of the best I've heard out there recently. But not only is he just good at rapping, he has a pretty good sense of melody. And that is something that I think is extremely important. That unfortunately a lot of rappers from his age group, and my age group, this is so weird how he's, how the hell is he my age? Um, or at least in my age group I should say. Uh, a lot of them don't have a great sense of melody as much. I see this a lot. Uh, a lot of younger people, a lot of younger rappers who are aspiring usually are really focusing heavy on either one or the other. Um, but he seems to tackle both pretty well, pretty passionately, and pretty naturally as well. And that's a really, uh, that's a pretty big thing. It feels like it's his instincts to have good melody, and it's his natural ability to capture that, which I appreciate, because it doesn't feel like he's forcing these melodies to get a good pop song or a good hook or hit out of it. It just seems like it comes with what he has to offer, so I give him a lot of credit there. It's a very passionate album, too. I will say that. That's another thing that stuck out to me right off the bat. He's, it is very youthful, but he does seem very passionate about what he does. It doesn't feel like he's just doing this because that's all he knows how to do, or because he is just doing it to get famous. A lot of these rappers feel like they're just doing it because it's a trend right now, and they know it could be, I know I hate to say it, easy money. But he seems to actually hammer what he likes to do and does well has great sense of melody and rapping so now that i got that out of the way let me dive a little deeper into the overall album some highlights some low points and how i overall feel you know songs like double back walk em down are pretty solid tracks and they do represent his great flow his great his great rapping abilities really strongly here a good and what like i said a great blend of his rapping and his more melodic vocals um, Walk Him Down specifically, it might be my favorite track on this album. I think the Roddy Rich feature does actually add a lot to the album, but so does, you know, NLE Choppa's, um, contributions as well. It's a great beat. I love the beat on there with some great flow and great, and it's pretty catchy as well. I gotta give him that. Probably the other set, the other group of songs that I would say really stuck out to me as being really, uh, solid are some of the more aggressive, some of the more throwback to more gangster rap type stuff from the 90s, but a bit more aggressive songs such as Murder Talk and Who the Fuck in My Trap. Uh, great instrumentals and pretty memorable tracks as well. This is another thing that I find really nice to hear from a rapper uh, like him is that you do get a lot of songs from a lot of these new up-and-coming rappers that just barely past the mark, but they don't give much more. But I feel like both those songs that I just mentioned have a very nice, dark, very haunting tone to them. A very aggressive tone as well. And um, it really just makes them stand out. And I know the whole album does kind of have this feel to it. Um, he definitely does take a lot from his inspirations. After all, he is young and it's his debut album. But it just... Something feels natural with these songs. It's a very, it's like a natural darkness, and um, I really appreciate that. And then the shot of flow tracks, three, I think there's three, four, and five on here, and some other ones as well around the middle of the album, a little bit later on as well. Do have a lot of from the take a lot of influence from the drill scenes coming out of New York, for example, and I think that that's um, pretty nice to hear uh, more up and coming artists tackling that sound in a way that does it justice because 
I mean, as much as I love artists such as X, um, I do feel like they haven't all tackled this really kind of screaming style of drill as well as I think um, NLE Choppa does. So I do give him a lot of credit there. He takes a lot of influence there, but he doesn't imitate it. He does put his own spin on it, which I once again greatly appreciate. And I was left honestly feeling that he was a very, he's very talented, he's very young, and I really hope that he continues to build upon his sound and improve it, you know, as the years go on, because I do think he has a lot of potential, especially to rise and become one of the big stars. Now, that being said, my one, one major flaw that unfortunately hurts this album a lot is the fact that it is 20 songs long and over an hour. This is a project that, in my opinion, does not need to be this long. You probably could honestly cut half the songs out. Even though they're not bad, they don't add much to the album. I do feel just in general, like a lot of the later half of this album, after some of the more shot of flow tracks, just don't feel like they are adding too much to this album, but they also don't take away. So they're just kind of there. And unfortunately that leaves this album feeling extremely bloated and with a lot of filler. But does it actually hurt the album, the overall message, the overall feeling of the album? Not necessarily. I mean, it doesn't take away from any of the good parts of this album because they aren't inherently bad. The filler tracks on this thing are not inherently bad. They are just there. They're average. So I'm, that's why it didn't totally kill the album for me, but it didn't add anything. And unfortunately, I was kind of left um, liking the album, but not loving the album and I feel like that has a lot to do with the fact that it is just so long and dragged out in many spots and unfortunately I really do wish you know more songs had great instrumentals too that's another thing uh beat wise there's a lot of great beats on this thing uh walk them down like I said has a good good beat um you know who the fuck in my trap has a great instrumental. I love I love the instrumental on that song. But unfortunately, it is his debut. And a lot of the producers he has are not the best in the game. And um, unfortunately, that does hurt some of the instrumentals here and there. That being said, how do I overall feel about this album? Am I looking forward to future projects? Yes, I am. I do hope that he does improve upon his sound, which, is alre which already has a solid foundation. Um, all he really needs to do is, you know, make it a bit more extravagant, you know, add some more stuff, improve upon what he's already doing, and that is about it. And I gotta say, I did enjoy this album, I do hope to hear more, and that is why I have settled on giving this album a light 7 out of 10. For those who know my reviews or don't know my reviews, anything above a 5 is good, anything below a 5 is negative. So a 7 out of 10 is a pretty solid review. Um, it doesn't mean I, I don't love this album with all my heart, but I do enjoy it. I did think there was a good amount of uh, talent in this album, and I really and it's just barely crossing that threshold of a pretty solid album, in my opinion. Um, I do hope to see where NLE Choppa goes in the future. I do hope that he gets more attention, and um, that is it for now. NLE Choppa. Top shadow. 7 out of 10. That is it for now, and goodbye!